Well, we're back in greenhouse once again, and today we're looking at starting off potatoes. But this year, I'm going to do it slightly different. Because when you start certain plants off, you usually put them into big pots. And then that's going to be quite awkward to move those containers around. They're going to be really heavy. And I want to start all my potatoes off as soon as I can. Ideally, you'll be starting your potatoes off around about mid-March. Unless, like we've done, you can offer them protection in a greenhouse because they're in a container. And you can also bubble wrap it for that extra layer of protection as well. So we did a couple of containers, a first earlies. I'll show you what's happening with those. We put them in these little 10 litre pots and I've put a pot inside a pot because we've insulated it as well with bubble wrap in case we get frosts. And if you look on top, there's not much or anything happening in there. But if we just gently remove a bit of that compost, you can see we've got the start of a plant there. We'll cover that back up for now. But it's still in a 10 litre container. And if we wanted to do 15 or 20 plants this year, that's gonna be quite a lot to move and quite a bit of weight as well. So what I'm gonna do this year is I'm gonna pre-grow my potato plants, ready to transplant later on when we settle where we're going. And you can do that and it will serve two purposes. And for me, if you want to move them at a later date, that's a really good option to do. But also, depending on where in country you live, you might get frost right up until the middle of May. And then you're only just starting your plants. So I rather start them off at this time of year and offer them protection. So the easiest way to do that is to plant them in small pots, get these little potato plants growing. And then if we get a risk of frost, we can quite easily pick up those little pots and take them indoors. And they're not gonna take up a lot of space, but you're protecting them from getting frost burn. And if your little plants are just starting to come out and they do get hit by a frost, that top's gonna to turn black and die. Then you've got to re-chip that potato to start it growing all over again. So you're losing quite a lot of time doing that, if that happens, and it has happened to me on more than one occasion. Even at the end of April, we've been hit, we're minus six. So because I want to be able to easily transplant them at a later date and move them, I'm only gonna put them two litre pots you'll get that top growing you'll start and get an established root system and then all you're going to need to do is just tip that pot bang it and that entire plant's going to come out and then you can transplant it into a bigger container but that plant is already started and on its way so you've saved yourself quite a bit of time and that's especially good with main crops because they need a really long growing season so that is the plan for today I've got various types of potatoes. We've got first earlies, second earlies, and we've got main crops. So your first earlies, you do in March, and then probably stagger with an extra sowing a couple of weeks later on, so you can harvest at different times. And then you've got your second earlies, which you could do at the end of March to the end of April, because they only take about 17 weeks as well. But you can grow those plants on a little bit longer to get bigger potatoes. And then a week or so after that, you do your main crops because by that time it's starting to warm up and it's a lot lighter. But so I don't have to be gauged by weather and I want to start them off earlier, I've decided to do this. These are summer's potatoes. We've been chitting those and we've got some really good chits on there. So they've already started, but once we put them in a little pot, they'll start producing roots and that will grow taller. It'll turn nice and green and you've got an already established potato plant that you can move on somewhere else into a bigger container. And we have got quite a few. I don't think I'm gonna be using them all this year. This one's got even more chits on it. It's a really good looking one. But they are starting to shoot out all over the place and we just want to knock a couple off. I don't want that many chits on this potato because then that plant's gonna grow quite a lot of top foliage and probably less potatoes underneath. So as a rule, usually around two chits is perfect. And this one's even more advanced. You can see that these potatoes, as they do this, it will start to shrivel up a bit. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
that's just how that process works. It's taking nutrients from that potato to grow this top. So your potato as a result is gonna to start to shrivel up. If that happens to you, it's not a problem. And then I've got to remember what sort of potatoes I've got. That particular one is called Casablanca. As you might notice, I never did put labels in them. This is the little bits of paper that were there to start with. And then we've got Charlotte's, their second early ones. And we've got Rocket, which are first earlies. And we have got a couple of main crops as well. But for this process, it doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna get quite a lot planted. And then I know that that job's done, they're on the way. And when we decide to move, we can quite easily put them all into a box and transport them. If we put them straight into the big containers, it's gonna be too much to move. So that's my plan for this year. So if you do live in an area that gets really bad weather and frosts for quite a long time, starting them off like this could be an option for you as well because you can get them growing. If you get bad weather, you can take them indoors, but all the while you're already starting to get established plants ready to put into your containers or into ground when that time comes. So I'm just gonna pop some compost in this tree. And it's not sieved, sometimes you end up with really big lumps like this. So we just need to break that up. Just get rid of any really big lumps. We're well, best move somewhere as plants out that way. That's some more peppers that I transplanted yesterday. So we've got a few more plants on way now. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of compost in. I'm not gonna completely fill it. I'm just gonna do it around halfway. And then I'm gonna add a sprinkle a fish blood and bone just to keep these plants going and then we'll pop that potato in the center like that with those chits facing up get it seated and then just bury it and I'm going to press it down a little bit so that when we take this plant out that compost stays nice and compact and don't fall apart so we'll press it down a little bit and then just top it back off and then we need to label them just so we know which one they are and these ones are first earlies and they're rocket so that is as little potato plant all set up so pre-growing your potato plants is quite easy we've got a two litre container with the first early in there, just one potato, which is gonna produce us a really nice, healthy potato plant that we can move on at a later date. And we just need to do that, label each pot, and we know exactly where we are when it comes time to planting them into the final container. So I'll just carry on doing this, and we'll get a second earlies done and as main crops, and that's all that done, ready for when we relocate, or in somebody else's case, for when the weather improves enough to either put them outside in containers or in ground, knowing that you've already got a pre-grown potato plant on its way and completely undamaged. I'll just give that a little bit of a watering and then I'll leave it. Don't keep watering those if you do this because you'll rot that potato. That one that you've just seen that's already started to grow out the top has been watered twice since we put it in and only lightly just enough to keep that plant going. So if you want to start your potatoes off now, but you're worried about weather, you can do that in little containers, take them indoors when you need to. At least then you haven't got the worry of your plants, once they do get established, being damaged by frost. And if you'd like to see how these plants turn out and what else we're gonna be doing, then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I look forward to seeing you then. You take care.